I think we're doomed. Nah, unless they got any big giant robot camels, I think we're okay. <laughs>
and they're a little smaller and probably even gonna be less painless than this was because this was so easy. There was no problems. For the X-Wings, I'm gonna have them flanking the shuttle from the back. So I have to put these screws in slightly behind where the shuttle is and on both sides of the shuttle. All right, I will let these guys stabilize, and then we'll do a flyover to see how it looks. All right, so there is the shuttle and the two X-Wings flying just behind the Star Destroyer. We are a lot less concerned about these little guys falling from the sky as we are the Star Destroyer. The Star Destroyer fell, that would be absolute carnage on Hoth. If these guys fell, uh, I might take out a speeder or two, maybe hand solo, who knows. But they're up. We have a transport, GR75 transport, two X-Wings flying over the Mach. A little small, but it's only because in comparison to the uh, Star Destroyer, which is massive, they look a little small. It looks good. I like it. But before we finish up, we have one more ship that I want to hang. So Josh Lynn, one of our Discord moderators, got us the Executor, the Super Star Destroyer in micro scale. Here it is all assembled and built. So even though this is technically from Return of the Jedi, the Executor was introduced in Empire Strikes Back. So we want this guy flying off in the distance near the Star Destroyer above Hoth. So we are gonna hang this over the Hoth Mach towards the back, because technically it really wasn't over Hoth, but it had to be lurking nearby as it's Darth Vader's flagship, so to speak. So let's hang this sucker. So we are gonna put the Executor way back up here in the corner, kind of in a distance over the Hoth Mach. So let's hang it up. All right, so far so good. So far, not hundreds of gray pieces all over the floor which is normally what happens when I hang ships. Okay, so there in the back corner is the executor. Flying just over and in back of Hoth. Pretty cool. And that is going to do it for the build portion of our video this week. Pretty cool updates. A little hard to spot, but cool nonetheless. And now it is time to put a minifigure or figures on the Hoth Mach. And I think you're going to be really shocked to find out we're putting on some more Hoth Troopers. And we might add more dead guys because we can't have enough dead guys. But the first Hoth Trooper we're going to place is not a dead guy. One more live person on the firing line. Can never have enough of those. So there is our first trooper. And our second guy, unfortunately, was hit by fire. And we don't have too many guys that are just laying face down, so that's, that's how this unfortunate trooper is gonna meet his end. And actually, the last guy is not gonna be dead. We needed more guys running along the trench, guns ready to fire. So we're gonna put that guy right here. There he is, and he's actually next to a guy that's about to be dead. So, uh, you know, I guess that counts. But he's running into battle to replace some of these fallen troopers. Well, that is gonna do it for this episode of our Hoth Mox series. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you like the new additions that we've added, both living and dead. We hope you join us here each and every Friday, at least up to the end of September, when the Hoth Mach will be coming to an end and we have brand new mocks coming. So stay tuned. If you liked, don't forget to like. If you want to subscribe, hit subscribe and you can see more of this cool action. Lego, Hoth, Star Wars action. I think it's cool. So we will see you guys in the next one. I'm Leaky Trooper. I'm out of here and bye.